this time they show you the distribution of certain data by using a box and whisker diagram. A box and whisker diagram separate the data into four quarters. So the first quarter lie between M and this number. Second quarter lie between 26.7 to 29.1. Third quarter and also fourth quarter. So basically each section give you 25% of the data. And because of the nature and definition here, so the smallest value appear here, M representing the minimum in this case. Similar reason, in this case the highest value found is 38.2, so this is maximum. And then if we separate to half, the middle data is called the median or Q2. And finally, uh, among the middle part of the first half. So this is called Q1, first quartile. Among the second half, the middle data is Q2, the third quartile. In this sentence, they give you uh, two values respectively, which means that the first item is the first number. IQL is 7.2. And at the same time, the second information is the range is 14.8. After we give it, write down the given information, we try to evaluate it. So IQL based on our understanding mean Q3 minus Q1. In this case, Q3 is N while Q1 is 26.7. So we just solve this equation. We get 33.9. Similar reason, when we talk about range, by the definition, we talk about maximum minus minimum. In this case, maximum 38.2, while minimum is M, unknown. We are going to solve this equation. M is 23.4. We already finished part A, then we look at part B. Uh, the longest time taken by the student to finish 200 meter race after training is 4.4 seconds less. So we need to know what is the new maximum. Original maximum 48.2, now this is 4.4 less. The original maximum minus 4.4. 33.8 seconds so which means that we find out that uh, the largest value now the maximum is 33.8 if we draw the graph is somewhere here and none of them spend longer than this time so we are going to find out is that enough evidence to claim that there are at least maybe more but at least 25% students show improvement. In a 200 meters race, improvement, which means spend less time. So in this case, the key point is whether we have solid evidence that 25% of the students spend less time. If you look here, uh, I don't care how the original student uh, perform here, but at least this 25% student, the last quarter, no longer spend more than 33.9 seconds. So which mean that at least no matter this one improve or not, but this quarter, this 25% student are uh, improved and spend less time than 33.9 at this moment. So we have to say very clearly, first point originally, there are 25% of the students spend longer than 33.9 seconds. But now, all students spend less than 33.9 seconds, which means that those students spend 33.9 seconds before, now they all improve. Therefore, we agree the statement. 